Yo, what is up, gamers? In this video, as you saw from the title, I am going to share with you all one exercise or one activity that will guarantee your aim to improve faster because I know that is what you guys are looking for. So, let's get straight into it. So, here it is, guys. This map. This workshop map that I found on, on the what's it called on the steam community so i'm also going to put a link in the description so don't worry um i found this on workshop whoa <laughs> okay we're never mind <laughs> workshop <laughs> whoa <laughs> Ooh, what is going on what what is all this desktop magic engine Sorry, my bad. So what you do is you just go to community and then you click on the game that you recently played. From there, you go to workshop or specific CSGO 2. Here we are. Training, aim, oh, sorry. Not training map, sorry. Training, aim, CSGO 2 by cardboard, okay? So back then, when I used to play a lot more, what I would do is get on this map, get on this workshop map, and then let me get my gun you gotta get you gotta choose your gun you gotta go straight up to it get your gun i would stay on level one so you'll, you'll see in a bit why i stay on level one set your stuff this is my settings classic fast aiming static linear rotating speed that's fine okay so okay let's, let's set it to 12 for now this is default and let's put what the exercise is every time you hit one or miss one you go back to the middle to reset and you just flick around anywhere you get i think around 25 chances is it yeah i'm out 25 you can increase it to however many you want and with this exercise it is so effective the reason it being is because it, it directly associates with your muscle memory and most of the time when you're playing CSGO, every time you peek a corner, every time you go around a corner, most of ca most cases, even though if you pre-aim a corner, most of the time you're gonna have to flick to your enemy, right? So with this exercise right here, it it is training you to it is training your your, your muscle your muscle memory to get used to the sensitivity you got being able to flick better onto your enemy when you're going around corners. Although you are stationary, what you... Shit. <laughs> Although you are stationary, you can also move around, you know, like... You know, you practice your movement as well. Go left and right. a lot back in the day to really practice my aim and my flicks. And this can also help you with your one taps. So when you go straight to the point, you just one tap like that. It can really it can really train you with your one taps as well. If when you're tired with uh when you're tired with that you can change the size to a smaller number. Let's go with 10R. So the, the dot is smaller, as you can see. It really makes you focus on being able to flick better onto your enemies in real game. Map is really this workshop map is also effective for you to train your your flicks and everything but what i really liked about the other map was that you know you could have dots that were 
that we're rotating, that we're going left to right, up and down, and you also sometimes got stationary. So I feel like it trains your, your brain better to get used to different situations in quick succession. So you know, suddenly you would you would have a stationary thought, and then suddenly you would have one that's flying across your screen, and you're gonna have to flick to it. You know what I mean? Now I know that this one, yeah, you can move around. What I don't like about this is that they all stay in one spot. Because what they're doing is just, they're just chasing you. They're going after you. So, so, so when you stop moving, they follow you. They, 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 they kind of like stop as well. Or they kind of move a little bit. So this map is also not that bad. You can use, you can definitely use this. the other map because you had a you had more options you can make the dot smaller you can make the dot bigger if you'd like I, ju I just feel like overall that that map was just was just better usually i would be on this map for around 15 to 30 minutes depending on how i feel on the day and of course everyone's different you you can you can spend 10 minutes if you'd like you can spend an hour it's completely up to you now i also said earlier that the reason why i stay on level one is because when you're on your le level 2, and let's say you start it, you kind of don't move as much. You don't move your arm or your hand as much, depending on how sensitive your sensitivity is. You know? And then compared to level 3, go back to the middle. You see, you don't really move as much compared to like level 1. You really have to flick. See what I mean? So let's put it at 5R. Let's see how we do on this one. Been a while. C, C gets really small, and especially at long ranges, it's very effective to use to to practice this, so that you know if you want to do some one taps from a far range. This, this is a very this is a very effective tool or workshop map for you to practice your muscle memory. So, I would. For my personal opinion, I used this map uh, a lot more than the other training map that I downloaded. But both, of course, are effective and will help you to train your aim faster and more effectively. To really replicate your life um, uh, competitive games, I would go into a um, local free-for-all map. It's better to practice on 128 ticks because you know if you want to compete on on a face it it's 128 ticks it's keeping everything consistent in a way during the night right now it's quite late so there's not yeah there's nobody in here but usually early in the night that's when the so usually earlier in the night that's when people are on this to just practice their aim it's really effective to to train your aim with um, the smaller dot so that you see, you can see at different ranges that you see look look how big the look how big the head is it's quite small right so if you practice with the training map you can really train your muscle memory to flick better onto the enemy's head see so let's see let's let's show an example of a pre-aim I'm pre-aiming a short See? So even if I pre-aim there, see? I to see? See what I mean, guys? So it's completely up to you what you want to see. What I mean, just just right there. You 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 still have to like flick. Even though I pre-aimed like this, I pre-aimed like this. I still have to flick a little bit. Pre-aim a spot. I still have to flick because even though they're a bot, they're still moving, and you're still gonna have to flick and and. Um, move your crosshair to the enemy's head. I, I really suggest using this training aim map as your go-to map to practice your flicks, your reaction times, and even warming up your hands so that you're ready for the competitive game. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you guys for watching. And I wait before I bef before I have my outro. Don't forget to subscribe, leave a like, and also comment like comment down below. Uh, what you felt about uh, using this this uh, training map and if this practice regime helped you out.
take it easy love life and i'll see you guys in the next video peace